Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Hello and welcome back to Colborough Park Farm in 1961. We have got the fertilising done. We've put our other 35 on the sprayer ready for the spraying to start. Our crops are growing nicely, what we've got. We need to get some money as you see. We've got £132 left. So for this afternoon the plan is to sell some of the crops that were in storage. We have fed the chickens, we've got the fertilising done and we've missed the trailer. So this tractor is going to take our crops to the sell point. Not the easiest of August to get under this. We've got under it. We've got some flowers to sell. We should load those up. We've got a full trailer. And so we should check where the best price is for the sunflowers. Little Am Stores is the best at £6,173.90 per ton. So we shall go. Now we'll have a look, see where Little Am Stores is, right down the bottom of the map. So we shall now spin ourselves around in the yard. And yeah, £6,000 a ton, so we should get... £7,000 in for this, which will pay off the midsummer mortgage as long as we've got some money left by then we also need to get some grass cut so we can feed the cows we're going to head to little I think we've gone the wrong way actually but uh, it's not down this we are going, going the wrong way, we're going to have to turn off down here, never mind. We keep the little map up so you can see where we're going. We need now to get down this road, which is now taking us in the right direction for Little Lamb Stores. We need to get down here as quickly as we can. It is half past one in the afternoon. Yeah, we will pay the midsummer mortgage payment. So we should be clear then. We paid it in advance then, so we'll mean although we may go in a deficit until harvest, we should be able to. sell a few bits now and again and uh, for the most part just be harvesting we need to stick a couple of trailers full of wheat in the chicken pens or chicken storage area where we keep our wheat and our trailer Bit there's no big bags of layers pellets or something you can feed the chickens with Nice little tractor here. So now let's have a look. And I'll flip. Yeah, it is. We go down here over the bridge, and we shall be coming up to Little Lamb Stores. We've been here a time or two now, although off camera. We look a long way away from where we are, but. 
think we're heading to the right store. M1 there going under the bridge we've just gone over. Yeah, next job on the run is the cutting the grass and tedding it, rowing it up and baling it for the for the cows. Let's just have a look on here and see. Are we? Yeah, we are heading to the right direction for little land stores. Just see the silos above the trees there coming a bit clearer now as we go forward we shall sell off everything what we've got apart from the wheat we need for the chickens keep the money coming in the trees rushing by as we head down just around this corner and we should soon see the gateway for Little Lamb Stores, get ourselves in and sell some crops. Thought this was the one, but we thought we'd just put the beacon on just to see what they are. We can't sell anything after five o'clock because they close unless they have got a great demand when they stay open a little longer. Now we shall reverse ourselves into here. This loader tractor will in time just be for there we are, we sold and we've got seven thousand seven hundred and forty one pounds for that, so we will Transfer no, the money off the loan, and you'll see how much we've. Okay, so we've got fifty thousand pounds of the mortgage left, and we don't have to pay anything else to the bank now until the late summer. So a totally full season away before we need to make any more payments. It does leave us £2,873 going forward. We will get a bit of money, of course, for the eggs that we sell. They come and collect them and we have to go and pick the cheque up when we have time to go down and pick them up. The eggs go every day, but we probably sometimes go weeks and weeks without paying off anything or claiming anything for the for this old eggs. But although the guy at the pub's a little bit drunk all the time, he uh, he writes it all down what he takes and uh, keeps himself in beer money and keeps our money separate to one side. And he is good about that never one to try and rip you off. He did own the farm that we are on at one time, but uh, decided to get out of farming and run the pub. going straight down the main road I think it's a bit quicker you can see the farm there standing up above the trees to the left of us welcome to Sandy Bay we do pop into the 
village and then out again quickly. Now the late spring should soon be an influx of holiday makers coming into the area. We get a bit of a pain at times when there's a lot of traffic on the road. But we will go down here and head back up to our farm. Not sure whether we've got anything else we can sell. I think we've got some maize in the silo. This tractor already got six hours on it. Clovering out as it goes uphill. Imagine coming up here with the full load on come harvest. It will be a little bit of hard work for the one for the little 35. How long they're going to make these tractors for? I don't know. We are back now to the farm. Carp swimming about in the water again. And we shall now get ourselves under the elevator again. I think we've got some maize left in here. Oh, we've still got some sunflowers as well. But we have got some corn, two tons of that. We shall take this. To the sell point, that's 75% full, so where's the best price for the corn? That's going up, so that could... Oh, that's going up as well, so yeah, so... Goods Depot is where we are heading. Let's have a look on the map and see where the Goods Depot is. Right down the bottom of that, so we have found out where we're going. We will take this to the goods depot. We have got a couple more loads of stuff we can take, or part loads, or one part load of stuff we can take. We have got some sunflowers, but they there's not a lot. Every bit of income is. Good going forward. Ooh, got up over the bumps there. We have got to go down the seafront now. Get to the next sell point. At least we should have some money to buy our fertilizer and our herbicide and fungicide, insecticide, so, uh, you can see straight forward is where we're heading here now to the cell point, but we will pop down the seafront. This is where you get a few more days and the holiday makers start coming in. It's going to be a little bit busy, but uh, Something we're going to have to learn to cope with while well, we've moved here. It's the busy times for the holiday Thanks. coming in. A lot of them come by train. Things do run along this line. Got the curb a little there as it turned in. So there's several people here already, so. Even here in the late spring, good few people. Somebody there walking his dog. There are a few people about already. Uh, yeah, seaside area seems as though it's making some money. I think they're going the right way. Yes, we are. I seem to remember it from when we did Farm Simulator 17 full time. 
Yeah, this is uh, another load coming in, so we should have enough money to keep us going until the harvest. Also means we don't have to sell any of our hay bales to pay our mortgage off, which would have been a little awkward when we're going to need them going forward for the cows, which is soon as soon as we get our harvest started and get some straw we will be getting the cows on the farm remember when we was at Colber Park Farm we had some pigs and um, we got 3,757 for that we've now got 6,631 pounds in the bank we have got some sunflowers left that we can sell as well, or those only probably thousand pounds worth. If that, probably cost more in diesel than what we're going to get for them. But it's not a crop we grow anyway, so we might as well sell them all off. It is nice to have a ride down get the sea air once we're selling it we'll have a look and see where it's twinned with it is actually twinned with somewhere so it's Sandy Bay ah oh, please drive carefully I thought it said twinned with but yeah obviously drive carefully one or two people here live on the seafront that's great sitting in the one or two of these places of course are bed and breakfast these are the places where people live down this side I think these here are the ones that have the bed and breakfast if you have a bed and breakfast right on the sea front especially if you get the windows facing forwards and then you've got some private houses again and even there to have a private house and look out over the river is very nice indeed. It is almost five o'clock so the cell points will be sold. We may well load the sunflowers up ready and we need obviously we need to put the mower on one of the tractors and use the other one as a tether you can use one of whichever of the super majors we jump on first for the bailing and struggling up this bit of an hill we may leave those bits of seed in there until we run short of money tomorrow we shall have a load more eggs go to the pub for he sells them, he actually pickles eggs and sells them as pickled eggs as well but we shall use this tractor on the grass mower, since we're on it now we will put the grass mower on it we shall load up these sunflowers then we shall drop the trailer off and next time we go we haven't got any corn, we haven't got any wheat, no barley, no canola we've just got that bit of sunflowers left it's 16% of the trailer full so we're not taking those today we shall keep them in the trailer they will go over Point it some and be sold Ooh, out a little there, there we go. May actually buy the field across the way and have some sheep as well going forward. Which would be nice. At the minute it's owned by somebody else that field. But we shall now oh, where did we put the mower? Over I know where the mower is. 
the mower's over in this shed. So next time you join us, we will be in either this field or the one at the back of the farm. I'm sure get the mowing done. This one will do the mowing. The other one will do the tedding and rowing. So uh, yeah, we should drop that down and take the pressure off the lift arms. Just stop that tractor there. The other 35 wants to go on the tedder at the moment, which I'll cut through the workshop. We will drop the sprayer off. I don't want the sprayer on it. And we'll just drive through the workshop, through in one side, out the other. It's a bit bumpy there coming through. But we shall put the windrower on this one. Now, under cover. So, yeah, that is the end for today. So, please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment. If you're new to Summer Farm Estates and you'd like to see more of the work we do here, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon, it will tell you when we do these videos, when we do our live streams. Until tomorrow on Cobra Park Farm, thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now. Bye bye.